In addition to planting native plants, you should watch out for invasive plants on your property and remove them if you can. The method of removal will depend on the plant, but in general you should avoid using any herbicides or only use them as a very last resort. Herbicides can harm the native plants in the area, the local wildlife, and can have adverse health effects on you as well. If you search up the Dirty Dozen of Plymouth, Massachusetts in Google, one of the first results should be from the Plymouth County Sheriff's Office, titled Why Are Native Plants Important? This document lists a dozen native invasive species and how to remove them. Here are some first priority invasive plants to identify and remove. Asian bittersweet is a fast-growing vine that is notoriously aggressive and difficult to keep away. It looks similar to native bittersweet, but has clusters of flowers all along the stem rather than just at the ends. Asian bittersweet will kill trees and displace native plants, and how you remove it will depend on how established it is. If it is still young, you can pull it out by hand. Make sure when you do, you take out as much of the root as possible. If it has grown high and established itself on a tree, use garden shears to cut the vine once at the base and once at eye level, then pull out the roots. Don't worry about getting the rest out of the tree, it'll soon die on its own after being cut. You should try to remove Asian bittersweet before it fruits in late summer. When birds eat the fruit, they spread seeds that'll cause more of the vine to grow. Garlic mustard is an herb with large, round, toothed leaves and white flowers. It produces a lot of seeds, which spread easily, and the roots release a chemical that hurts surrounding plants. It is vital to remove garlic mustard ASAP to stop the spread, and luckily, it is pretty easy to remove. Pull it up by the root and dispose of it in the trash. It's best to do this in the spring or early summer before the seeds form. You'll probably have to keep doing this for multiple years before it's gone for good, but luckily it is one of the easier invasive plants to eliminate from your yard. Japanese knotweed is an herb with heart-shaped leaves and white flowers that can grow up to 10 feet tall. It can grow in a wide variety of areas and crowds out other plants. Unfortunately, once it's established, it forms extensive root systems making it extremely difficult to remove. Root stalks enable this plant to spread far and continue to grow back unless you remove them all, which can be borderline impossible. Control methods you can find online may work, but may just make it more aggressive. Because of the resilience of this plant, it is one of the only plants I will ever recommend using an herbicide for. If you look at the Plymouth Dirty Dozen document, there is a full treatment plan for knotweed. The more you remove invasive plants, and the more native plants you plant as a replacement, the more likely they are to stay away entirely. While these efforts may seem like they won't make a big difference, if we all pitch in, we can put a huge dent in the damage invasive plants are doing to our ecosystem, and help to restore our struggling native species.